welcome again so now we are inside lion class arf vehicle cabin left hand side steering version we have right hand side and also center steering version the dashboard is designed to meet the requirements of the relevant standards, auto automotive standards and NFPA standards. On our left, we have our parking brake, we have our headlamp sw uh, master switch, we have our transmission controller, we have the engine start and engine stop buttons, mirror adjustment buttons, and on the right of the steering wheel, we have the automotive function controllers, like the hazard lamps, like the diff locks, like the ABS function switch off, like the retarder function switch off, and wind glass heating and butter main switch is located. And our center, we can see an oval shaped instrument cluster where we can see our speed, the fuel level, the temperature of the coolant system, the add blue fluid, this is a Euro 6 version and the air system supply pressure and all the required lamps which is warning us if there's some failures and here we also have a air condition controller all lion class vehicles are equipped with dual ac system which is one is installed inside the dashboard and one on top over here which is designed as i told you before it is in the hot climate countries which is up to 60 centigrade which is when we are waiting on the runway on the standby and with the fully equipped clothing and the helmet sometimes we need to refresh we need to cool down in order to tackle with the critical mission and on the center of our dashboard it is the industry's biggest display it's a 12 inch display where we can see the major functions of the vehicle of the firefighting system also and here we have some menus that we can select and see different features like on the this is now on the vehicles on the firefighting mode and we can see the piping system we can see the pump pressure foam ratios and the roof turret position water and foam levels, pump speed, pump flow rate. And this screen, the speciality of this screen is also a black box where we are recording the vital functions of the vehicle, entire vehicle, in order to use in a, some future investigation. It might be an accident, it might be some operation, that an intervention that we made that we can prove that we have made on time and correct operation. And this vehicle is equipped with a bird eye view camera system. This is important while we are entering the garage or exiting the garage or maneuvering in the runway on the park areas that we can see an aerial view of the vehicle with the four cameras located in front and right side and the left side and the back side of the vehicle. So. Also, just in front of us, for the driver, we have another screen which is showing us in the normal condition, the thermal imaging camera, forward-looking thermal imaging camera, especially in the foggy or in the dark environments. It can show us vehicles or some pedestrians or some animals, living beings in our head. So it is important for us not to make a collision to any vehicle or to drive on a human being or a living being and when we press to reverse this display is automatically switching to the reverse backing camera where also featuring a reverse alarm while we are too close an obstacle and of course we have an adjustable steering wheel as you can see depth and forward and backwards 
Our transmission controller is featuring uh, also an off-road modes, not only D and R, it's also starting from one, two, three, which is giving us ability to easily select the correct mode on off-road driving especially. And the good thing on this cabin is that you can go stand without any problem. You can walk around inside the cabin. As you see, I'm now walking without any problem. Even I can pass from here, as you can see. So this is also important. And we have three wipers. We have wide angle view of the back of the vehicle. We have roof glass that we can see the roof of the vehicle. And we have this, this version now at the moment have four seats but it is possible to use up to six seats, including the driver. So if you need more crew on your vehicle, it is possible to order this vehicle with the six seat version. Here we have an Insta internal camera that is recording also the internal view inside the vehicle. And also we have a roof hatch on the center that is important that, so you don't need to fully go up on the roof in case that you need to use the roof turret manually and also it is possible to use the pneumatic systems of this vehicle without leaving the cab we have a back hatch on the real wall of the cabin that you can use all the pneumatic system manually without leaving the cabin all the electrical installations and electrical systems are inside the cab is on the back wall so it is easy to use or to make some intervention some fuses maybe relays with ease of access and each rear seats are installed with a lamp where we can use to reading a map or while we are getting our suits on and as you see we have this, the seats with the self-contained breathing apparatus installation and it is easy to detach when you want to leave quickly the cab for the operation. And we have the center console in front and in the middle of the driver and the, the chief seat. Here we have two joysticks. The right one is operating the roof turret and the left one is operating the bumper turret. And here we have a multifunctional rotary knob switch where we are using the fire pump from this compact HMI. So we can start the pump, we can stop the pump, we can set the pressure of the pump, we can start the underground sweeping nozzles and we can increase or decrease by turning the knob or by pulling the knob up it is automatically setting the pump speed to the minimum level and when you push the pump stop mode it will automatically take down the pump pressure to the minimum level and stop the pump let me explain you about the pump drive system on this vehicle as i told you this vehicle is equipped with a twin powertrain system in this system we have two engines two transmissions fully automatic transmissions driving the vehicle and there's a combination summary gearbox and with the when we need to operate the pump one of the engine this is the left engine is disengaging from the drivetrain and engaging to the pump so in that mode we have just one engine driving the vehicle and one engine is driving the pump so we can do this engagement and disengagement of the pump while driving up to 60 kilometers per hour without any interruption and we can combine it again to the en to engines to the drivetrain again with up to 60 kilometers per hour so this gives us a massive power for fire pump dedicated just one engine to the pump in that time and when we are accelerating when we are driving we have two engines and this gives us a big power which is letting us going up to 135 kilometers per hour and 
from 0 to 80 km per hour in 20-21 seconds. As you can see here, we have the emergency lights and siren and public address system controller. And we have the wireless connections over here that you can use up to two wireless and the antennas are already built in on the roof of the vehicle. And here we have the drag chemical powder system control that you can activate the drag chemical powder, pressurize it and you can see from the gauge, manual gauge and also you can see from the digital screen that it is enough pressurized ready to use so you can use dry chemical powder from the bumper turret which is uh, already integrated with the nozzle so we you can use water foam and at the same time from the center dry chemical powder if you need so this vehicle is also as i told you is crash tested completely crash tested this is very important so while you are buying an equipment apparatus like this make sure that it is crash tested as you may think that this vehicle is a 50 ton in, when it's fully loaded and driving really fast, 135 kilometers per hour. So in case of any accident, a cabin should be safe for all the crew because we know that the firefighters in the airports are duty oriented. So we can forget what's going on nearby us or we can you cannot see some vehicle is driving nearby us so in case of some accident or the vehicle can roll over however it is equipped with a rollover passive protection system and also an active system that we are protecting on the runway while we are making some agile turns and uh, sharp turns when we have more lateral G on the vehicle, our system is detecting that and reducing the engine power and applying brake for the required. Thank you. I'm glad to have this opportunity to explain about Lion Class ARF vehicle. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.